So I'm sure we've all been there. You've just headed off for a run somewhere, recorded it on Strava, you finish your run, you get back in your car and you head home, and then you realize you didn't press stop. So you've got a car assisted part of your run now recorded on Strava. Except that's gonna really muck up things like your segments. If you've been across any segments on the way back, it's gonna totally throw off your pacing and it's just gonna make a general mess of things. However, Strava have given you a tool where you can fix it. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now the Strava crop tool has been on the desktop version of Strava for a while now, but quite often that's a little bit inconvenient. You mightn't be getting home until quite a bit after your run and you want to get onto Strava and tidy up that run. So they have now put it on the app. So we're going to dive into the app and take a look how to do that. But before we go into the app, I just want to let you know that I make lots of videos to help you improve your running. So you can help me to help you by hitting that subscribe button and not forgetting to press the bell icon to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, let's dive into the app and see how to fix that Strava run. Okay, so what you need to do is go into your app and find the, the guilty run in question. Now here's mine, and as you can see, it's already been flagged by Strava as being, hang on, something's not quite right here. This activity has been flagged. So what we need to do is to go in and fix that. Now, now the way this messes up your Strava run is if you go down to your view analysis here and go into there, you can see quite clearly on pace, I've jumped into my car and headed home, and as you can see, the pace has shot up, so something quite clearly is away there. Um, faster split, 252 per mile. I don't think so, so we need to fix that. So we need to come back out of there, using the left button there, and at the top right-hand corner there, you've got your three vertical dots. We're going to press that, where it then gives you the option for crop. If you press that, it jumps into the map, and there you have the route that we've just ran. Now, at the bottom here, you've got an orange slider. To the left, indicates your starting position of the run. So if you, you just drag that along, you can see the start point shifting. Likewise, if you move to the right and drag the right button along, you can see it changes the end point. Now it's the end point I'm bothered about. That's where I was in the car. So we need to crop that bit out. If you zoom into the map, into the car park where I had my car, and then drag back the end point to where, that's me coming towards the end of the run there. So that's it there. That's more likely where I, where I finished the run and I end up back at the car. So I'm happy with that now. So now I'll simply press save. Are you sure you want to crop? This action cannot be undone. Yes, I want to crop that. Crop submitted. Hit OK. Now that'll take a few moments to go to the servers for them to update their records and you'll get a notification from Strava to say that that's done. And I think I've already received that. Yes, your updated activity is ready to view. So I'm going there now. You can notice the title I've got at the top there for the sake of this video, but I can change that pretty soon. It's now a 2.18 mile run. Now I've got an average pace of 9.56 per mile. Go into my view analysis to my pace. That's a lot better. So there you go. That's how you rescue your Strava runs. If you found that to be of interest, don't forget to hit that like button and you can help me enormously by pressing that subscribe button. Not forgetting to press the bell icon. Make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.